What's up guys, what's growing on? So I wanna to talk to you a little bit about planting a passiflora edulis. So that's that video I have with money falling out of the trees. I've had a lot of people comment, you know, we have this growing in our yard and you probably don't have the passiflora edulis. You probably have more of that native variety which is called the maypop or the passiflora incarnata. So just behind me, over my right shoulder here, you'll see there's an oak tree. And we really like to grow those passion vines up the oak tree. So I'll show you how we get those started. We have a purple possum variety of that Passiflora edulis, and you can see it's almost up into the tree. And we really like to stick a piece of bamboo in there for them to climb on. We really try not to train them too much. You know, sometimes we'll give them a little bit of help, but we actually notice sometimes, you know, when you tend to, to baby these vines, and by baby I mean, you know, constantly coming up here and sticking them on the stake or strapping them to the stake, sometimes that'll actually slow them down a little bit. So when the vine does its own thing, when it starts climbing on its own, when it starts grabbing on its own, that's when it seems to be the most vigorous and aggressive. So let me take you over. We're putting a new one in the ground. All right, what's growing on? So we're back at you here again, and I got somebody here to help us demonstrate this new passion fruit going in the ground. So sitting here behind me is not that regular Passiflora edulis that we planted all around this property and my property. What, what do we got, Ian? This is Passiflora malasima, also known as caraba or banana passion fruit. So it's a little bit different. The leaf structure is quite different compared to the normal passion fruit. It's a little bit more cold hardy than the Passiflora edulis. So a little bit better situated for this air, this uh, site here. A little bit colder than other pa other uh, locations. So hey, we're getting it right at the base of that tree, huh? So what are we gonna do with this thing? It's gonna train up these trees. Okay, cool. This dirt here is really good. Pretty lucky that these things fall when they're ready. Oh, there is some sand oh, here. A little bit of sand. A little bit of hiding. sand hiding down there. Just a little bit. You can see we've uh, really amended here with a lot of mulch, and a lot of this soil is already starting to turn gray from looking from like that, you know, regular white beach sand. So, and the leaves on that really look like the granadilla. Yeah. These make a real long fruit, long yellow passion fruit. Yeah, this is supposed to be like a, a banana-like fruit and super sweet. So you can see, just like when we do the fruit trees, Ian's planting that a little bit high. Lean it into the tree here, so kind of yeah. train up this oak tree. See how that trellis is just kind of leaning up against it. So we really don't even need the bamboo yet. And once those things start grabbing, those tendrils will just grab right onto that bark and follow up that tree. And the, beta, you know, the, the best part about the passion fruits are they fall when they're ready. So when they're ripe, they fall and they're laying there on the ground and they can usually take a fall from 40, 50 feet in the air. You can see Ian's packing it in with his foot. You can't pack them too tight. Last thing we want is a loose passion fruit vine. All right, so now we add a little bit of good compost. Couple scoops. Just on the top layer. In it. So that's that two, three, four organic fertilizer we like. This is that biochar. And we're just gonna top dress the plant. So we didn't stick it in a big hole of fertilizer or biochar. You know, we're just putting that good stuff at the very top. And our final coat will be the biologically active hardwood mulch. And basically that's the mulch that's been here breaking down. It gets sprayed with compost tea when we come. You know, it's alive. It's got mycelium in it. It's not fresh, not a lot of leaves in there. There we go. All right, how to plant a passion fruit with Ian. Ian, what's your full name? Ian Bonus. Bonus, how can they find you? Follow me on Instagram, Rare Fruit Hunter. Rare Fruit Hunter, huh? Oh, what kind yeah. of rare fruit you sharing with people? Oh, just about everything. Everything that's good? Everything tropical. All right. Everything delicious. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please uh, punch that like button for me. Please hit that share button. Remember, sharing is caring. Get the word out. Pound it. <laughs>